Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Sunday. It is December the 20th, 2015. Gonna look at race number 8. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at 316 to pick some more selections for the whole card from Gulfstream Park. Uh, it's a good Saturday, uh, Sunday card here. Um, and I uh, have to say, uh, we have some really good races coming up uh, next week. Uh, next week, and some really nice races. I think the McKnight is next weekend. The William McKnight and the La Puente Stakes. Something like that. Um, those two mile and a half races. So, uh, really good week of racing. They do race uh, next uh, Thursday or Wednesday, Wednesday, 23rd at the uh, at uh, Gulfstream. After that, they're off uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, racing will return uh, on Saturday. I should get paid for promoting this. <laughs> but, um, so let's get on to it. Race number eight from the uh, Gulfstream Park is a uh, main special weight purse, $50,000. It's for maidens, two year olds. We have a field of 16 horses, an overflow field of 16 horses. We have a few, uh, you know, changes and stuff. The 13, a lot of skirt, is, uh, and number 14, main asset. Our main track only, and the 15 and 16 are also eligibles. Um, so 12 can run. The rail will be at 48 feet for this uh, mile and eighth race on the grass. And I found two horses I really like: uh, first time starter and a horse that ran already. I'm gonna go 2-8 here, an exact box for dollars. It's gonna cost you about two bucks. Number two, Majestic Smile, four to one. Matt Raspoli for Grand Motion. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, last time out there on November the 18th at Aqueduct Wall Mile, made stretch away for 60000 Finished second by neck, was leading all the way throughout, and just got caught at the wire that day. Very disappointing. Uh, uh, lost that day. Uh, and I have to say, it was just it was just a very, you know, very upset, because I think I had this horse that day. And it was 8-1. to one. <laughs> and I had a lot of money on it, so, you know. Um, and then start four, that was Saratoga, and it was very tough mile 16 two-year-old races for uh, 83,000. Uh, uh, finished fifth by five and a half lengths, first career start. Um, best this horse got was uh, was uh, five and a half lengths, uh, five lengths off the uh, lead, but other than that, didn't get any closer. Um, had a, a wide trip also, it was five wide in the upper stretch wasn't really moving, like I said. I've been training, uh, Palm Meadows, uh, workout, four full long workout on the turf, and 48 into the eighth best workout, 17, and a Fair Hills workout, four full to 49, flat, fourth best at nine that day. That was on the, uh, all weather, Tapita, I think they have. Um, so gonna go with this one, four to one, love the price, um, and I'm also gonna go with the first time starter, number eight, who is, voices only, a 12 to one, uh, Jose Lascano, uh, Belmont trains this one. Horses never start, like I said, first time starter. Um, out of Artie Schiller. Really like the Artie Schiller on the turf. This one should be really well out of El Prado, who's, you know, uh, Artie Schiller's sire is El Prado. But, um, has been working out pretty decent looking at the workouts. December 14th workout. That was on the dirt at Goldstream. Four full workout. 50 flat. 30 best. 30th best out of 38. And a pace in workout. 51 and 2 for four furlongs. But I want to go back to some turf workouts. Uh, here in New York, in upstate New York, actually, at Saratoga, back in the, um, fall, October 12th was the last time this horse had a published workout on the turf. Uh, four, a 5-4 workout, 107-3, ninth best out of 17 with the dogs up. Um, and then another workout was September 25th, Saratoga, 5-4 workout, and 105-2 with the dogs up, 10th best out of 15. That was on the training turf, on the Oklahoma training turf. Um, very weird, uh, just looking at this horse's, uh, workout line. Uh, this horse is really based at Belmont almost all the, the summer. And then he took, uh, Belmont must have took this horse up to Saratoga up until basically the middle of, uh, November when, uh, when, uh, Saratoga closed, he took this horse down to Florida. Very, uh, I find that very strange that he would take it after the meet ends to Saratoga, whatever you want, but, uh, I really like these horses that train at Saratoga on the Oklahoma turf and then run here, first time start at, uh, Gulfstream Park, really, really like the, uh, the horse's chances, um, 12 to 1, good price, just very unexpected, how is this horse gonna break, how is this horse gonna do, a lot of other horses that are proven how they're gonna do, but I'm gonna go with, the bit of price here, 12 to 1, with, uh, voices only, so recap my bets, race Marie from Gulfstream Park, I'm gonna go with the 2 weight exact box here, um, I'm, with experience, I would probably put the two on top if you want to give me a sh if I wanted to give you a top selection out of both of them. Uh, with the experience, the two because uh, you know, like the eight, like I said, it's very unexpected what the horse is going to do in his first career start. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at the Race 16th Picks for more selections. Good luck, everybody.